This is my homemade monitor controller. I've been seeing some crazy things like this selling online. And I think people are crazy because they're asking for like a thousand dollar for a two channel monitor controller. And then I look up the retail price and it's way over a thousand dollars. And I don't understand why. <laughs> so I just built my own. Um, I got a surround sound set up here for doing some mixes for television. So I needed some extra channels. So what I've done is I've got four passive inputs over here and they are grouped together in pairs. So I got like left and right, left and right. And um, those pairs each have their own master knob, the big knobs of the master. So I can balance the levels of each speaker and then control both with the master. These switches here disengage these individual ones so that only the master controls the level. And then over on this side, uh, four of the speakers in my system need to be powered. So I've got four little amps in here, just little things I picked up off Amazon. They had pretty good reviews, they're a really cheap price. So I put those in here. This is a power switch. You see on the back what I did. So the these little amps, they run off like a wall work kind of, looks like a computer laptop. Um, power supply so I've I've got two of those mounted in here and then I just chain two of them together for power and then on the back these are the speaker outputs for from the amps that's the power in and uh, RCA's for all the ins and for the passive outs um, I did RCA just because I had these jacks already. These there's these little sets of two sets of six jacks that are connect connected together. Um, I took them out of an EQ, so that's the only reason I did that. Um, but a lot of the stuff I have is coming in RCA anyways. It goes to my monitor RCA, so um, that's the only reason I did that. And you notice there's a lot of like random extra holes and stuff. That's because this case is an old um, amplifier. I It wasn't working, so I, I took what I could use and then reused the case and just painted it all black. That's it. So all of this cost me, I think, under 100 bucks compared to, like, some of them were, like, 15000 for just two channels, like, only this sort of section. None of this powered stuff over here. So... I just threw my own together with spare stuff that I had laying around and spent about a hundred bucks on extra stuff that I needed to order. That's it.